Okay, so we're back with Corpse Killer, and uh, I think we're gonna let's check out the swamps and see what we can find there. Helmet and TV, huh? Oh, look, it's that fucking high class actor from all the horror movies. Perhaps you recognize. Well, maybe it is. I can't really tell. It's so blurry. Oh, look at these guys. Look at all these high class actors. That must be Wesley Snipes. That's uh, Tom Hanks right there. And there's Robert De Niro. Holy shit. I can't believe they got all these, these A class actors for this. Lieutenant's coming back for us. And he's coming back for you too, Helen, you stinking piece of crap. Holy crap, what a line delivery from De Niro right there. Stinking piece of crap. Something else. What the hell was that? Something happened on the camera. They're coming, bro. Them swarming. I can smell them. Atomic pee holes. Atomic pee holes? Is that what he said? All right, so here we are. We're in the swamp. And I'm waiting for a zombie to come out of this obvious area here. Oh, fuck! Look him out! See that? That's what this game's all about. You think he's gonna come from the left, he comes from the goddamn right, and then he fucking hits you with his fucking ball sack. Look at this guy doing fucking dances and shit. And you might say, gee, Phil, are those guys actually, like, walking towards you, or are they, like, hurling their bodies with fucking the speed of a hurricane? And, uh, I couldn't really tell you because the game's so choppy and blurry that, uh, I'm just gonna shoot him in the balls. Here we go, right in the balls. Give him some ball shots here, some more ball shots. And as you can see, I don't even have to move my target ready to kill right now. I'll just scroll it left and right. I don't have to go up and down because they're all coming at me at the same freaking height. Now that guy obviously was the zombie's lieutenant because when I shot him, you noticed that all the other zombies on the screen died. And that's because they all know without their fearless leader, there's no way that they could ever defeat me and they just give up and go away. Now look at that. There was definitely no chance for me to stop both of those skulls since they were coming at me simultaneously, and I only have one target ready to kill, but that just adds to the scariness of the game. Alright, we survived. Got it. You okay? He's okay, woman. I got the tour plan for antidote. You got the tour plan? Good news. Holy shit! Can't afford to lose your roster, man. Okay, man, you got it. Wow, look how quickly they cut from scene to scene. You get the Dura Bullets or Breath. Um, I don't know what either does. I'll take some Breath. Alright, so we've gone through the swamp. We can either go to the village or we can go to the fortress. I guess at this point we should go to the village and check that out. Your notions of death are all backwards, Lieutenant. You're the one decaying and dying. My soldiers have been charged with the elemental power of nature. Wow, look at the special effects in this game. Them out of the ground and stood them up. You just poured some Nickelodeon slime into that steaming skull. I mean, that's at least $15 worth of budget right there. You can have it in a box. In a box. Bo a box. Your choice. And the skipping of the game is just adding to the effect, so I'm actually glad that this is a vintage copy with all the original skips. He's got dead boys. Plenty tough. Dead what? Dead boys. Maybe Juju Stick too. Juju Sticks? I don't know what he's talking about. So I gotta shoot people here. And you might ask yourself, why is the main character of this game a Rastafarian? Well, the obvious answer is that it's because you'd have to be high to play this game. Oh, um, fuck. Alright, I got that guy. Now look at these. Who knew that zombies would be wearing flannel and, and backwards hats, almost like Nirvana band members? Uh, and here come some more Nirvana band members flying at me. Now look at that guy. That guy obviously had the used, reused skull helmet from Batman Returns, uh, from the original gang at the beginning of that movie. But that's pretty cool that they reused that for nostalgia factor. And there he goes again, too fast to stop, as I said before. There's no way you can shoot everything on the screen. Holy fucking shit, now the game's ramping up the difficulty, as you can see. So as I'm doing this... Oh my god. What the hell happened? Oh, okay, I accidentally hit C. Retreat, bro. Fuck. Who's your clever? You fight again tomorrow, eh? Yeah, you said I'm smart and maybe the best footage of my career. Bro, you're on first watch now. You're cover git. Zombie come anytime. Cover git? I cover git? 
He wants me to cover git. Okay. So I accidentally hit C, and as you see, what happened was it ended up going to another zombie mission, which is pretty cool because you think you're going to escape from the first mission just to end up killing more of the same repetitive zombies over and over. And you might also say to yourself, Phil, why, uh, why do you seem to be attacking the same three zombies over and over? Like, didn't they actually make more than that? And the answer obviously is no. Uh, because, you see, Tom Zito only has three friends, and so, after those three guys got filmed, there was really nothing else that they could do. So we're just going to keep shooting these zombies, and we'll shoot this one here in the head. And what's really cool here is taking the opposite, uh, the opposite avenue of Resident Evil, they've given you completely unlimited bullets. So that way you can just literally hold down the button and with no effort straight left and right and kill everything on the screen, which uh, just makes the game all the more scary. They were all over us. I didn't think you were going to pull it off that time. Oh, baby, uh, there's some other things I like to pull off. We're here, right, chest battle, bra. <laughs> yeah, bra. Why'd you call me a bra? All right, so here's what happens when you actually hit C. This is what I wanted to show you. Uh, you actually open up a menu of different cutscenes and items that explain different things in the game, okay? So you see Bone Plate, the Turtle Plant. What we're going to do is look at a couple of these and you're going to see what they are. Me great father, teach I and I to troll Babaku Mambo. Huku Buzza Buzza Mambo? Why picture conjure past, present. And future. What the fuck is it saying? Oh, you might not even notice, but he has a gold tooth. <laughs> nice and cliche for the time. Alright, so I have no idea what that was about because it said bone plate, but then he didn't actually do anything with the bone plate. Uh, let's check this one out. Hummer. Gonna get me my armor this time, man. Okay. Bones. <laughs> Ooh. Terrifying. Holy shit, man. Deathbringer Bogu Yaga has come. He will depart soon and carry Deathbringer magic everywhere. Cannot stop it. Must kill. Kill Hellman now. I have no idea what's going on. What is this? The Tura Bullets. These bullets kill many zombies. Very fine potion this time, boss. <laughs> Are you equally fine marksman? Alright, so that's how you get your special ammo. You actually cook the bullets. And we can't win with air power alone. In any future conflict, we've got to have a large force of ground troops. American boys. In harm's way. The game controls that region. What the fuck is going on here? Congress won't let us do that. That's why America is the laughing stock of the world. Senators, Dr. Hellman here has a solution I think you'll all want to hear about. Dr. Hellman. It's also important to note that Dr. Hellman invented mayonnaise. Thank you. So, zombie researcher and condiment developer. The zombies caught these from your squad when they landed. These are armor-piercing shells. Very hot item. Especially when I coat them with the Tura. You can find them on your Satlink map. Good luck. Now you might be saying, what is a Satlink map? But we'll get to that later. So here's some top secret info. An extinct or long-departed culture built these structures. They developed a practical science that we believe has been handed down over thousands of years and ultimately mythologized into what we call today Voodoo. Boring. I want to see some zombie killing action, so let me look at one or two more things here. Holy shit, look at this guy. Private first class. Tony Montiano. Some more De Niro high class acting here. Dr. Hellman has done nothing but told us the truth. He's not a violent man. He's a caring visionary. Holy fucking shit. Give this man the Oscar right now. I mean, 
how are you gonna top that? How could anyone top acting like that? So, alright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna save our game and then I'm gonna show you the actual map. Um, what the fuck is this? Enter game name, we'll call it D S O, because I missed the P. Alright, so there we go. And then what I want to show you here, this is your actual map. And on this map, you have many choices. You can go to different areas and fight different kinds of enemies, like the Renegades. You can fight... Fuck. And, you know, it is a little hard to control, but again, that's on purpose. Just adding to the, the thriller nature of the game. Alright, you can go fight the Serial Killers. You go to Zombie Town. Fight the Dead Boys, which you already did. So here's where we are now. There's your Datapod, Renegades... APB quest, a Datura quest, there's Julie's quest one, and then here's Winston's quest one. So there's all different quests that you can select on this map. I think what I'm going to do, we might maybe let's do Julie's quest one. Uh, but you know what, we're, we're running out of time here, so when I come back, we're going to try another quest and see if I can hold out, because right now, to be honest, I'm kind of shaking already from all the horror that we've seen here. This is a really scary game, and uh, I just want to... I'm going to give it one more shot, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to try it, and we're going to see how far I can get.